Hello, everybody. Here's a look at the babies today. I just cleaned their pen. And they've, there's already a pee over there, which is good if they're going to go on the paper. It doesn't happen every time, but they uh, seem to prefer to go on the paper than on their towels for the most part. Anyhow, oh, look at that. His fur is getting stuck under his collar. I better check it and make sure it's not too tight. Is that why he's scratching? Whew. Oh, and the fight's on. Look at these guys. Oh, dirty bum there. Little blue collar guy's got a dirty bum. Look at, they're starting to wrestle and stuff. It's so cute. Five little boys. <laughs> I hope you can hear that little growl. So this is the next step for these guys. They're going to be climbing the, over top of this. And this will be where their pee pads are. And their food dishes that I have there will be zap strapped to the wire kennel in here. Because nobody wants to eat where they poop so boogies that's her food is empty right now <laughs> holy snapping that's that little blue guy showing attitude he's not gonna back down look at that oh 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 oh, oh they're gonna kiss and make up now this is all part of their socialization when they do their little fighting and stuff. Remember, they're just now starting to cut their teeth. So it often looks quite vicious when they're acting the fool and playing around. But they're learning how to associate with other animals and how to show dominance or submission. And it all starts very young. It starts right in their, in their whelping kennel. And that's not just with terriers either. I think that's pretty much all breeds of dogs. Oh, watch this little blue guy. Oh, where is he? I'm no videographer. Sorry about that. There he is. He's a spunky little lad, I'll tell you. But you know, you pick these guys up. And we do, as I've said before, we pass them all around, especially in the evening when my husband and our neighbor come over, and especially for puppy time, because they need to know how to be held and how to respond to the human touch and to our voices and our tones and that kind of thing. But they just curl up into your neck and it's... Oh, it's such a comforting feeling. They're really, really cuddly. As I said, they're really, really cuddly while they're beating the shit out of each other down here. With all the smoke we've had up here. Um, and it has been crazy. It's had really... Uh, awful effect on these guys grandpa he's uh his voice has actually changed look at this look at this tearing up the bed what are you doing what are you doing get out of there get out of there oh i'm gonna have to get some chewies in there for them especially while they're cutting their teeth Anyway, I should stand back so you can actually see what's going on in here a bit better. So, okay, over here, this is our little blue collar guy. And there's our little brown collared guy. And I think that's green. Yeah, it's getting harder to tell their collar colors. 
And over here we have our black collar boy and poopy bum. Is that gray? Yeah, I think that's gray. He's got another poopy bum. So we're going to start seeing more poopy bums as their bodies uh, regulate to their new food. Because yesterday, I don't know if you saw the video, but um, yeah, we had... Uh, I just completely lost my train of thought there for a second. Yes, they had their first solid foods yesterday. And so that's going to be a little bit different for them. Booger actually ended up eating most of it. Oh. <laughs> well, I hope this was helpful today. Oh, look at his rip and tear, right? No teeth yet, but they're coming. And then it gets a little crazy in the kennel here. <laughs> they look like little teddy bears. Okay, well, I'll sign off and I'm going to get some bums cleaned and some good stuff like that. And we will talk later. Bye-bye.